Hi everybody, Dean from Digital Camera Warehouse here again. One of the biggest selling cameras over the last few years has been the Sony A7 Mark III. Not a day goes by that we don't have an inquiry about one of the Sony A7 series and the A7 Mark III has always been the biggest seller of them. Well today, I've got to show you the A7 Mark IV. One of the things you'll notice straight away is the camera does have a bigger grip. So if you've got big hands, uh, you've really got that nicer, chunkier grip to get a better hold of the camera. There's a whole heap of new features in the camera, so I'm going to run through some of those and talk about what it's got over what the previous model had. In the new camera, we've jumped up to 33 megapixels, and it's got the same processor in it that the A1 and the A7S Mark III has. So you've got that image quality and a lot of the grunt that you're getting in a much higher end camera. The camera's jumped up to 759 autofocus points and now it has human, animal and bird eye detect in video as well. So you've got that exciting new feature for birders and people who like photographing wildlife to do that not only in photos now but also in the video function. I think you'll see some people who were tossing up whether to grab an A9 or an A1 may even jump in at this A7 Mark IV for some of the high-end features that have filtered down into it. In terms of video, you've got 60p in 4K and the option to choose a 7K oversample to come down to 4K, which is going to give you better detail. It's shooting in 10-bit color now and you've got a 422 color space, so you're really getting that fantastic class-leading image quality in what is their entry full-frame camera. S-Log3 is offering 15 plus steps of latitude. So there's a whole lot of range to work with if you are shooting in a log format and you're processing the image to pull out details and shadows and highlights. So that's fantastic to see in the camera as well. You've also got focus mapping in the new camera, which is a great visual depth of field tool for videographers. There's a new heat dissipation structure in the camera, the same as what's in the A1. So that's gonna allow you to have that longer recording of continuous video. Also, when you turn the camera off, you can have the shutter come down to protect the sensor from dust. This is a menu feature that you need to turn on, which I didn't realize at first. But yeah, when you turn the camera off, you've got that shutter coming down to protect the sensor. With this new camera, Sony are also releasing two new flashes. They're replacing the F45 and the F60. These are the new guys. They've got improved dust and moisture sealing, and they've also improved the shoe at the bottom. Uh, with more metal reinforcing to protect the front of the contacts from damage. The flash control is now linked to the camera's face detect functionality so that it uses the light falling on the subject and the background to get pleasant skin tones in white balance. The flashes can do up to 200 bursts at 10 frames a second and with the A1 it's got a sync speed of a 400th of a second so really reliable performance out of these new flashes. I got to play with them on the cameras and I was really impressed by the performance, the way they worked with skin tones, face and eye detects, all those sorts of things. So really great two new additions to the Sony range. When we get these cameras pre-release, we've usually got anywhere from a couple of hours to a day to play with them. And I've really enjoyed playing with this new Sony. Uh, I think a lot of people are gonna be interested in it and I wouldn't be surprised if in a very short period of time, this becomes one of the biggest selling cameras on the market. And we'll have people checking their bank balance to see if this is the right camera for them. Uh, so yeah, I think it's a fantastic camera. And if you do wanna find out more about it, feel free to give our call center a call on 1300 365 220 and talk to one of the helpful team members. Um, you can also have a chat to me if you like and find out my experiences of playing with it. But yeah, fantastic new camera. Sony A7 Mark IV is a great addition to their range and is really gonna be one of the market leading cameras this year and into next year. Thanks everyone for watching the video and we'll see you next time. Have a good day.